Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, The Spiritual Justice Gym. God is Peter. You can call me Peter, either one will do. I answer to both. I'm sorry if you hear noise in the background. My daughter is still on winter break. So they are um watching their little videos in the background. Hope this doesn't disturb you from hearing the messages. Anywho, let's get into it. Okay. Hmm. Somebody is coming against your heart chakra or something is blocking your heart chakra. Let's just put it that way. I haven't gotten all the rest of the I haven't gotten all the rest of the messages yet. So let me see. It's definitely something with your heart. Physically and um spiritually. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let me turn this off. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Make some more sense now. Somebody's coming against <clears throat> your heart chakra because of your relationship. Um, with your uh soul your soul con connection relationship. That's what I'm picking up. Um because somebody knows that you see your value, but they don't like it. Because the more you see your value. Um, the more they have to strategize in a different way and it leaves them in this poverty stricken mindset. Um, they're coming against your, your heart chakra, your heart and your, your relationship. It makes sense. Um, now, there's some kind of deceit around your relationship too. Somebody is making you or your partner see something deceitful like through your third eye. Let's see which one it is. Spirit, which one it is? It's the, it's the, um, is it the partner? Yeah, it's your partner. They're making your partner. They're downloading stuff into your partner's third eye. They're, they're, they're downloading illusions into your partner's third eye for some reason. I hear somebody whispering in their ear too. Like things. Like making them like perceive things differently. Somebody knows. Somebody's really close to your partner. And they know your partner. So they know how to twist their mind about you. So you want to be careful with that energy. Overall, I see it's a beautiful relationship. It's definitely um, a stable relationship. But this person is want your partner to be all tied up and in a lack mindset. I see that too. They want this person away from you. Um, someone's trying to restrict your heart. Like, they don't want you to love. That's what I'm getting to. They don't want either your partner love or, or you to love. They don't want you to be loved. That's what I'm picking up. They don't, this these this particular person or whoever's doing this. I'm here. I see an X in my mind, my mind's eye. So it's an X or somebody like that. They don't want this person to truly value you, to truly love you. You know what I mean? They don't want that. They don't like that God energy. They don't like that that um agape energy. They don't like it. I mean, if it's being showered on them, cool. But if it's not, then they don't want nobody else to have it. I'm talking about pertaining to you and your relationship. This could be an ex of yours. Definitely an ex because I've seen them. Um, make sure you're um, going to the bathroom regularly. That's what I'm picking up too. Um, somebody's doing work or praying or whatever they're doing energetically to get um, your... To for, for your money to be bound up in your stomach. That's what I'm seeing. I know it sounds weird, but it's a thing. Trust me. <laughs> I've been through so much. I know it's a thing. Um, yeah, it's a petition. This is a petition. This contract card is out here again. So we're going to clarification for this contract card. Yeah, they're waiting. Yep, it has to do with money. Yep. They want you to have conflict with money. They want you, they're trying to bound your money into your bowels. And then they're trying to stop your bowels. That is wickedly thinking. That is so wicked. And they're trying to stop your love life. Uh, it could be uh, somebody that's in masculine energy. Or it could be a male. Female that's in masculine energy. Or it's a male. And this person is really. Dis they're, like, they're in their head about this. 
and they don't know which path to take. They're trying to balance out and try to see things from a different perspective so that they can they can go do they can go so they can see other opportunities or other areas of how to attack you. So the next thing that they're thinking about, if they can't attack you that way, then they're gonna attack your voice. Like they're gonna attack your throat chakra. Um in your hands like they don't they want if they can't get you and you and this person to break up they're gonna try to to attack you guys voice or you guys speak to each other put you guys in anxiety this is sick but it ain't gonna work it's your enemies that said it's heartbreak energy <laughs> That's not going to work. None of it's going to work. They're in this heartbreak energy. And they think that they're waiting on you to walk away from this person. They're literally waiting for you to walk away from the person God told you to be with. That's what I'm picking up. This is sick. They're the ones in this heartbreak energy. So they want you to be heartbreaking. It makes sense. They're, they're hurt people, hurt people. They're in this heartbroken energy. So they want you to be in it. They are lacking money, so they want you to be lacking money. They probably can't use the bathroom properly, so they want... You know, it's that whole deflection energy. I am picking it up strongly. I see it strongly in these cards. This is craziness. So they want you bound in all areas because they, they seem like they're bound. <laughs> Ciao. What we do that at? Anyways, peace. I'm out. Hope that helps someone.